In just three days, a case of sinusitis turned nearly fatal for nine-year-old Greer Underwood. Her heart began to fail and caused a cascade of conditions that earned her a place in medical history. Greer just started feeling bad. Um, she was just really having, just really not sick sick, but just a small cough. And we went to our local pediatrician. Um, the next day, we really, Greer's breathing was just kind of labor, just real short, shallow breaths. So we took her back to the ER. Um, they said pneumonia. That was on a Wednesday. And I think they ran some blood work then and um, saw some, they, they initially said her blood sugar was really high. They thought it was diabetes and they were going to send this to Birmingham. A helicopter flew Greer from her hometown of Muscle Shoals to Birmingham's Children's Hospital, where doctors quickly diagnosed her heart problem. She was then moved to UAB Hospital, where kids' heart cases are handled. Shortly after arriving at UAB, Greer had a massive stroke that should have been life-ending. The medical team gave her the clot-busting drug TPA, and the clot was removed. Extremely rare treatments in pediatrics because they're not standard care for a child. She survived, but doctors still had to deal with her failing heart, which was now complicated by the stroke. That greatly limited our options initially, <clears throat> so that if Greer would have gone into what's called refractory cardiogenic shock, that is her heart condition continued to get worse despite the drug supporting her heart. Um, it would have been a very, very difficult decision as to whether to go ahead with a life-saving operation, but at the risk of creating a devastating and irreversible stroke. But about two weeks was a very critical juncture because now the, the major risk of stroke had fallen to at least a reasonable level. She had been extubated, and now she either had to continue to get better or worse. Doctors put Greer on a mechanical device called an LVAD that supports the heart. Cautious to prevent another stroke, Greer was given the hardware device, which has never been used on a child in the U.S. and was still experimental in adults. For her, any other adult pump was really not an option because she was too small. We have another pump which has been approved called a HeartMate 2 which is also a rotary pump, but it's just bigger than this. This is the smallest pump which is currently available. Greer began to thrive. She was weaned off all cardiac and respiratory support and started physical therapy at Children's Hospital. And her name was added to the waiting list for a heart transplant. <laughs> then on Mother's Day, Greer Underwood received her new heart. Now that Greer has her new heart, she's looking forward to spending the summer with her friends and going back to school in the fall.